Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Kairos and welcome back once again to Let's Play Silent Hunter 4. We're ready for our second war patrol here. There's not a great deal to report, we did pretty well last episode. We got that one uh, merchant ship which very obligingly went to the bottom. And I've handed out a couple of promotions for my crew. So we now have some men with uh, more uh, engine specializations. Specialization spelt with a Z, annoyingly enough. Sorry, Commonwealth country. I actually do like the way Americans spell things. Uh, it uh, makes a lot more sense than how we do it. I mean, come on, it's uh, it's pronounced with a Z, so you might as well spell it with a Z. Uh, right, so I think that's all there is. Oh, yes, I don't have anything I can... We've got some renown now, but I don't have anything to upgrade, so we're just going to have to wait till later down the track we'll get some upgrades for our boat. Uh, we have Mark 14 torpedoes, of course, still. We're going to be using these for quite some time, unfortunately. I say unfortunately because they have a reputation, or had a reputation back in World War II for failing dismally when they were actually needed. But uh, that's all done and ready to go. I think we can see where they are going to send us this time. Uh, we're leaving on February 11, 1942, and we're to proceed directly to... Area D4, and stand by for further orders. D4 is up here, I suppose. Um, all right, well, I guess we'll head over there and see what they want. I will see you on the other side of this delightful loading screen. All right, we're underway. That's uh, all good to see. Everything is uh, in order. Everything's shipshape. Uh, we're just outside Surabaya now, and we're going to make our way up to our destination. We're getting... Uh, water on the camera, which is a nice effect, but rather annoying at times. Okay, let's go inside and uh, have a look. Where are we? Yes. Okay, so I've just plotted a course out here. I think we might take a shortcut through this passage up here. Um, try, of course, as always, to avoid uh, shallow water as much as possible. Yes, so unless Returning. we get any excitement along the way, I will uh, get back to you once we have new orders. Uh, they will certainly uh, messages and let us know what they have planned for us once we hit this uh, nice orange star up here. So, see you guys soon. Alright, welcome back. It is now uh, February 13, yep. And uh, we have a sound contact not far away. I just marked it earlier. It looks like it's going north. So, uh, we're going to go and investigate. I've just gone ahead full. Uh, we've deviated from our normal course to go and investigate. Now, it's nice and calm out here and very bright, so we've got to be careful we don't get spotted. But uh, we should be absolutely fine to go and investigate that. We're just getting up some speed now. At least we, we should. Yes, sir. Come along. Why is it going so damn slow? Anyway, um, I'm sure they'll get around to it eventually. Uh, there was something else to report. Oh, yes. Uh, now, Wolfpack345, who is... Uh, if you don't know, makes uh, Silent Hunter videos much better than mine. Much, much better than mine. But he uh, commented on one of my videos the other day and pointed out that this, in fact, is an airfield. I was saying last episode. If you zoom in, uh, you can see that there's a uh, an airfield right there. So we're going to be careful uh, about getting closer than 500 miles. Once we pass this circle here, I mark this out, 500 miles, uh, we're supposed to go to periscope depth. But we're not quite there yet so we can stay on the surface for now and uh, go and pursue this uh, mysterious yes. ship over here let's go and have a look course, yes. um, the men seem to think that that is an enemy vessel of some form and it's very um, good weather for a uh, deck gun attack so we might end up doing just that now um, I usually let the crew use the deck gun there they are you can see them out there that's a single stack freighter of some form think. You can see the smoke pluming up there. Alright, now I usually let the men use the deck gun, uh, so what we're going to do is, I think I'll leave all that alone. Let's go to battle stations and uh, we'll close in for the attack. This could be good. This could be very good. Should we go ahead flank? I think we will. Head flank, please. So the plan will be to close in. Uh, I'm not sure if she's armed or not. It doesn't particularly matter. Um, we should be able to outgun her. And if we get any trouble, I uh, will go to periscope depth and just uh, shadow her until it gets darker and then we can attack, attack her um, on the surface when it gets darker, as, they, as indeed they tended to do in uh, the early stages of the war. They preferred night attacks. 
uh, to this kind of broad daylight tactic, which I'm going to do for the sake of this let's play. I think this is a little bit bolder than most commanders would have been willing to to do. Uh, do we could have talk, try and torpedo her, I suppose, but I don't want to waste this perfect weather, so I'm going to close in, and we're going to go attack the deck gun. Right, well, there she is, as you can see. She's getting closer. She's definitely Japanese. I think we're dealing with a small merchant, and we have men on the gun, ready to go. So, uh, this is a sitting duck, this one. Shouldn't be too hard at all. She's right ahead of us, and uh, now I think is a good time to get them to open fire. So, you may fire at will, gentlemen. Yes, sir. Let's take this thing down. Yes, sir. Ah, boom. Wow. They're not particularly good shots, but uh, we'll see how they do. We can get as close as we want, because they appear to be unarmed. The rate of fire is pretty good. There we go. Hit. Nice moves. Nice moves. I love the new fire and smoke that we've got going for this mod. Looks great. So, they don't stand a chance. Let's have a look, see what we're dealing with here. Lovely flat seas. Kaboom. Okay, they won't last long. Let's go back on the bridge here. Oh, I like that smoke that gets in your eyes there. That's good. Gee, they've really... <laughs> they, that's a lot more, uh, more of a flash than in Trigger Maru. It's hard to actually see what you're doing. I like that. So maybe you should aim for the uh, waterline. Yes, they really are terrible shots, that gun crew in this. I'm going to take over their job for them. Even though it's not particularly authentic having the captain. There we go. That's what I was after. I don't think the captain would be aiming the gun in real life, but uh, let's go back out here and watch this. Yeah, the rate of fire is definitely improved for the uh, gun compared to what I'm used to in Trigger Maru uh, for uh, this mod. I like the new muzzle flash we've got going there. Looks very cool. But they're still god awful at their job when it comes to shooting things. So I will take over for a while. What range are we talking? Probably fairly 1100. Let's try 1100. Oh, are we using anti aircraft shells? I hope we're using. I think we're using high explosive. Good. That's what we want. I do like the way it blinds you now. 1500. Let's try that. Yep, 1500 it is. The deck gun has always been OP in this game, so I try not to use it too much. Which is why we've got this rule, uh, in case you've forgotten, that we are not going to be using a deck gun in uh, rough weather, even if the game lets us. So, because in real life, of course, you wouldn't want to be using a deck gun uh, in anything but perfect conditions like this. It's just too dangerous. So let's try some armor-piercing shells, see if that gives us a better result. Gee, I love that muzzle flash. That makes things a little bit more challenging for aiming and so on. Okay, it looks like it's about to go down. Let's go back on the bridge. We'll let the crew continue to fire, but load it with high explosive, please. Look, she's completely aflame now. There's a boat. Boat's gone. I'd say she's, yeah, she's gone down. I didn't see the message there earlier. Yep. Taking on water and going down. Okay, I, I missed that. That was a, a moment ago, I think. Slight overkill. But no matter. It's going down now. So, awesome. That's uh, one in the bag, people. One in the bag. And she's not going to last long at all. Right, well, that was a good start to the patrol. Turns out that was a uh, small split freighter, not a small merchant. But uh, still worth uh, a good almost uh, 1,700 tons there. So not a bad start, considering we didn't have to use a torpedo on it. Uh, definitely a, um, 
encouraging uh, beginning. I don't know what she was doing so far south, though. I mean, she's way too close to Surabaya and to uh, the Java Sea for her own good. I mean, Singapore hasn't even been properly taken over yet, and uh, I don't know. But she won't be reaching her destination now, that's for sure. So let's continue on our journey. We will see what they want up here. Uh, we'll get new orders as soon as we reach this, uh, this grid, I think. All right, well, we have our orders. Search and destroy any enemy shipping wherever found. Captain authorized autonomy in area. Sink them all. So I think what I might do, I've um, been thinking about this, is we will go up towards Saigon and we'll patrol around this sort of area for around, you know, 100 nautical miles in this area, trying to avoid this shallow water because we did have some luck up here before, as, as I'm sure you all recall. If we can't find anything there after a few days, I think I'll head down... Uh, again, trying to stick to the deeper water, we'll try and head down to this area and see if we can catch anything trying to head into Singapore. Because um, I'm sure that this here is a lane that they're going to be using between Saigon and Singapore at this point. So we're going to try and take advantage of that. That's the plan. Uh, I did see an aircraft earlier. So yeah, that spooked me out uh, quite a lot. We're going to have to run at periscope depth during the day from now on, which is fine because we can hear further. If, we are, if we're down low, traveling at a slower speed uh, underwater. So hopefully we'll hear something during the day and we can go and pursue it by night. That will be the plan anyway. Uh, maybe we'll crash into a nice big task force as well. That would be really nice. Uh, preferably not in shallow water though, because uh, yes, yeah, getting caught by a task force in shallow water yes, is sir. never fun, I can tell you. Anyway, I'll head up that way and let you know if I see anything. All right, here we are. I've just uh, plotted a course up here so we can go patrolling up and down this uh, circle I've marked near Saigon. I might even poke my stupid head uh, as far as this line of shallowish water here. Uh, you can see there, there should be about, you know, 80 to 100 feet of water uh, along here. And we've got this nice channel as well. You can see that marked on the map. So maybe I'll poke my head in there and have a look around as well. Uh, but yes, Singapore has now surrendered to the Japanese, so we've got confirmation. It's definitely um, no longer our possession. So uh, they're really on a roll, these guys. We need to get our act together pretty quick. It really is terrifying how quickly they advanced, actually, when I think about it. But um, all right, well, I'm just going to keep looking. Uh, you probably won't hear much from me for a while because uh, patrolling takes time, and uh, it's February 16th now. So uh, we'll see if there's anything in the area. Got to watch out for aircraft, of course. So again, we'll be, we'll be diving to avoid them in the, uh, in the day. And as you can see, the weather is pretty god awful uh, right now. It's not raining, but it's rough seas and high winds. So got to keep that in mind. We'll continue on our uh, merry way and I'll get back to you if we have any action. Well, would you look at that? We barely started our uh, sweep of the area and what do we have we have a sound contact bearing 263 let's have a listen on this hydrophone here what are we dealing with Ooh, warship unknown looks like there's a few things there that's going to be worth investigating definitely worth investigating what depth are we dealing with that looks like it's going to be a fairly sizable convoy at least a few ships there Still terrible weather, which is actually good for us because then we won't get jumped by destroyers. All right, I'm going to clean this up and we'll go to investigate. First thing, though, we want to check is... Oh, wow. Okay, we'll be fine. We've got plenty of depth under the keel. Let's go investigate this. This could be exactly what we're looking for. Um, I really should learn not to, not to be so fastidious about my course because it always ends up getting deleted like this, you know, rubbed out, erased... So we're going to go and change our course completely, head down uh, due south, more or less, and see if we can catch whatever this is. It's still dark, which is fantastic, so we can go ahead flank, I think. We've got the fuel. They're not far out, so I will uh, let you know what we're dealing with once we're there. It's certainly Japanese. There's no way that the, uh, the Allies will be up this far north. Uh, so let's go, let's go do some damage, shall we? Well, we've got our first visual, as you can see they're heading straight for me, I barely needed to manoeuvre, uh, actually I'm a little bit worried about this, uh, I dare not check the depth under the keel again, I think we've got plenty though, so let's have a look out, out here, what, what bearing are we talking here, 
dead ahead. There's a destroyer dead ahead. It's too, still too far out to see. There it is. Alright, so let's go to action stations. Uh, we'll need... Just checking here. We're going to have to rig for... We're going to get these guys into the damage control for sure. We're going to rig for, for depth charges. But we'll start by going to battle stations. And uh, I will get the men ready to dive. I'm going to move over here. Let's see. I'm going to try and stay on the surface long enough to report it in. Uh, we're going to try and do this properly. So slow the hell down. Because the faster we go, the more wake we've got. Uh, let me see. Oh, no. Okay. Let's just wait. Yes, we can report it in. Periscope depth. Looks like we've got an order. Eventually we'll get an order to, let's see. Attack Japanese task force. Yep. Okay. Alright, we can do that. So it is a task force by the looks of things. Uh, I wonder if it's anything big. One thing I do know for sure is that we need to move out of the way of this lot. So I will get into position. Yeah, it is a task force. Let's mark where that is. Looks like it's a task force. There you go. All right. The weather is... Actually, no. What am I doing? Let's go. Let's mark this lot so we know which direction they're going. There's another one over there. Mark the general. They're coming straight for us. That that could be a problem. They always seem to just go barreling over the top of me. What I might do is I might change course altogether. Head more or less in that kind of direction. And try and get between these these lines here. All right. Well, I've got to concentrate now on not getting spotted. Um, so this could take a while. We've got the weather on our side. We've got depth under the keel. We've got uh, um, we've got time. Hopefully. Uh, there's still a couple of kilometers out. Yes, a few more, actually. They're more like we five kilometers course, out. Yes, sir. Yep. So we should be fine. Uh, I'm going to get into position and get ready for this attack. This is going to be this is going to be tense. There's our message we've got here, just for you to see. Uh, intercepted successfully. Attack enemy task force. All other assigned objectives must still be met. Uh, be governed accordingly. Okay. Not sure what they mean by that. Um, anyway, we're going to attack it, that's for sure. So I'm at, at periscope depth now. Let's see if there's anything out there. Nothing uh, as of yet, I can see. Anyway, we've got a little way yet to get into position. Um, I'll leave the torpedoes for now as well. The good thing about the salmon class is that we've got torpedoes in the aft tubes as well. I and I like that. I like to have a nice even... Uh, four tubes facing aft, four tubes facing forward. Gives us a lot of versatility. That's one reason I like this boat. But uh, for now, we've just got to concentrate on marking this lot so we can actually see them. There's one there. They're heading fast. We don't have long. We really don't have long. So I'm going to try and, gonna try and uh, 315 them. And, uh, yeah, I don't know. It's a bit dark for an attack, so it might be difficult to get an idea of how fast they're going and so on. But if I could just see them, uh, let's see, it's about bearing, oh dear, this could be a problem, this could be a problem, they're going to go straight between us, I'm going to try and change course so we can go straight between them, that's half a, half a minute, I don't want to give them our full profile, that's something we want to be worried about, we're just going to have to trust that we can, that we can move out of the way in time. Which one did I click on? Returning this one course, here. Yes, that looks like it might be a cruiser or some of some form. I'm gonna leave the scope up for now. No, what am I what am I thinking? Down scope. One minute. Let's do a bit of time compression here. Two minutes. Up scope. I hate it when it does that. Come back, please. Is that the map? So it was here. Oh wow, it's going quick. It's this one here. So we'll, we will get an, indi an indication of how quick they're going approximately. Because um, 
in this darkness, I won't be able to easy, easily identify the Japanese ships that we're dealing with, unless there's a big aircraft carrier or something to shoot at, which would be nice. So, mark. Click. That'll do. Um, and now I can drop scope. Oh dear. Quickly. All right, I'm just taking one peek at the situation. What's that? That looks like something big. This is, this is good. Um, okay, they're going to go straight over the top of us. What are we dealing with? We know what direction they're going now. Whoops. Oh, this is a finicky tool, this one. I actually prefer the tool set in Silent Hunter 3. I find them less finicky to use. Um, I like to do it this way. Wow, are they really going 21 knots? I think they are going about 21, 22 knots. I'm going to guess 21. 23? Are you serious? I think it's probably 22, 21. They do seem to average 21. I've noticed they, they seem to like going 21 knots when they're in uh, task force like that. Let's have a peek, see what we're dealing with. I'm sure you'll all be excited to see what's out here. That looks like something in the general shape of a destroyer. It's very difficult to see with this weather. There's a destroyer there. There's something out here. It's so dark. I mean, I know you guys can't see anything there. Uh, I can barely see it too. And I'm the one with the computer, right? It's no quality loss. It's even... It Oh man, it's so dark. I can't. I can barely see that. That looks like a cruiser of some form, a destroyer. I don't know. It's too dark to tell. It's the one disadvantage of attacking like this. All right, I'm gonna have to get let them get a little bit closer. I'm gonna go straight through the middle of them here. Actually, no. Let's let's keep going this way. Yes, okay, so let's let's mark this. Crew have better eyes than I do. We know that there's a line of them going this way. That looks like something big, and a line going this way. And they're going to pass us stern. We've got to keep moving, or we're going to get run over by destroyers. Yes, Damnation. Okay. Yes, what course are we talking Returning here? What bearing? Hmm. I don't know, maybe I'm better continuing. It's a bit risky giving them my profile like that. I think I might continue on this course like this. And now we can always straighten out later. Yes, sir. To course, sir. Yes, sir. Damn, they're rolling straight over the top of me. Yes, There's something big along here, for sure. Something quite big. Let's, let's neaten this up. Like that. And that, it's a dog's breakfast, this. Okay. Let's have another look in that scope. Okay, I need to find out what bearing we're talking here. So, 270. Something big right there. That's some kind of cruiser. You know what, I am going to start turning. I know that these destroyers are a danger, but I'm, I'm going to start turning in yes, here because I might actually get a shot at whatever this is. To 70 degrees. 280. Something at... Ooh, hello, what do we got here? They look like merchants. Is this really a task force? I don't know. Well, one thing I do know is that we're running out of time. So unless I can find out exactly what bearing this thing is on. 250. I really should learn the hotkeys for this game. Right, right there, there is something. That looks like a destroyer to me. It doesn't look like anything I particularly would want to be shooting at. Damn these waves. Well, we haven't been spotted yet, but that's going to change really fast if I don't get my act together. Hmm. It's very difficult to aim in this weather and this darkness. That destroyer is going to roll right over the top of us. 
Damn it. I'm just a little bit too close here. Aha! That looks like a uh, cruiser of some form. Let's have that. M. Japan. I'm just going to have to guess what it is. Because, I mean, I can't see that. Can anyone... Can you guys see that? I certainly cannot. I can't tell if that's a cruiser or a destroyer. I think that that's a cruiser. I have no idea. I think it might be something like this. We're going to guess that it's a... I can't even see how many stacks it's got there. It's so dark, I can't tell if it's got stacks or not. I'm going to enter that for now. Just a light cruiser. Because honestly, I have no idea what we're dealing with. It's just too dark. But it's there if we... Whoops. It's there if we need it. M. Thank you. That's the button we need. Let's, uh... Oh no, okay, that, that's brightened things up a little bit actually doing that. So, it is definitely a cruiser, or something. That's what we're going to be shooting at, that. Let's... Okay, well it's not... I mean, man, I have no idea. It could be absolutely anything. In this darkness, it's just impossible to tell. Whatever it is, it's going to get shot at. That could be it. No. Hmm. We're going to be firing blind here. But it's better to fire blind than not at all. So. We're in position. They literally rolled over the top of us. I have no idea what it is. I, I just I have no idea. I'm going to guess that. It may even just be a destroyer. I mean, I just, I cannot tell. But we do have some in estimation of how quick they're going because I made the uh, wise deci decision to 315. -er. So we'll add that for range. We'll just enter that for now. I'm going to add speed. 22. We'll say 21 and a half knots. We're going to use a spread of torpedoes, of four torpedoes, I think. Um, get rid of that. We don't need that anymore. That destroyer is going to roll over the top of us in a moment if we don't watch it. Where are you? I've lost it now. Oh, it's that dark. Okay, I need the thing thing on the bob. Okay, it's one of these. Oh, damn it. Now what tool am I looking for? This one here. Let's get an approximation of its damn damn damn. Angle on bow. Fifty something. We're gonna get we're gonna have to crash dive soon if we don't fire now. All these tools are different from Silent Hunter 3. I need to get used to it. Okay, we're going to say a bearing of 60. Angle on bow, sorry, of 60. Let's turn on this target data computer at this point. Yeah, it's a cruiser of some form. I don't know what, but it's a cruiser. Let's do that. Just ask them what they think. No, you're, you're on God knows what. I think they're going 22. Let's enter that. Range one more time, and that should be about right. Come on, you damn waves. All right, that's going to have to do. Let's have a look at this target computer. Helps if you've got the aft torpedoes. That's completely and utterly off. That's more like 90 degrees now. Okay, I need to set these torpedoes up. We're going to have them running at 15. 15, no, 10. Let's make it 10. It's just too... We risk them exploding prematurely, but I don't know what the... Because the, I don't know what we're dealing with. I don't know what the 
um, depth under the keel, the keel, what the keel is going to be. So let's have them all for high speed. One, two, three. I should have put them all for contact as well. Contact. This is a bit sloppy, people. Sorry. This is not exemplary, but I'm running out of time and I'm starting to panic at this point. I think we may have been spotted. I don't know, but what I do know is that whatever this is, it's not going, it's not going that, it's more like 80 now. Yeah, that actually, that that's helping. Okay, let's have that at 22. Oh, it's so close now. Let's enter that mark, open tubes. Okay, they're all open, I think. Let's have another look at this. Oh god damn it. That's definitely neon definitely 90 degrees now. Definitely. But the computer's confused, so we're just gonna have to fire. Fire five. Fire six. Come on, open that tube. Fire seven. Let's have this one off like that as well. Fire eight. Drop scope. Let's get down. Okay, I have no idea if they're going to hit or not. I don't know. Let's have a, uh, a listen here. Okay, I need depth. I need depth. Start going down, please. We should know soon. What are we dealing with here? It's, uh, there's something there. I think we missed completely. That was some kind of cruiser. Well, I have no idea where my torpedoes went, <laughs> but uh, that was very sloppy. Didn't work out for me at all. That's what happens when you panic. So actually we did, we were more or less on target, but of course in true uh, Silent Hunter 4 form, the one torpedo we did strike with is, yeah, that's three misses and one dud. So. The one torpedo we did strike with was a dud, which is very typical of Silent Hunter 4. Oh well, that was worth a try, and I feel a little bit better about myself now that I know we did actually manage to uh, hit something, even if the torpedoes, as, as usual, failed us. So I'm going to rig for depth charging uh, here and um, cut the video for a while. I'll get back to you if we get into trouble. Well, here we are. It's been a little while now, and uh, we didn't get any trouble from, from the destroyers. They went straight over the top of us and uh, didn't even seem to react. So I'm thinking they didn't even realize they were under attack. Uh, I guess the weather was just that bad that they couldn't hear a thing. And I do know that early on in the war, uh, Japanese um, sonar and so on was just notoriously bad. So we should be absolutely fine now to um, secure from battle stations. And uh, maybe even think about coming up a little bit. Let's come up to 100 feet. And uh, yeah, we're good. We're all good. So that's a bit of a pity, but uh, we're going to be getting a lot of that in this career. Uh, you usually hit something and you think you've got, um, you know, you think you've got one in the bag and it turns out that your torpedoes are duds. Good. There was a nice thermal layer there, which helped us a lot, I think. So yeah, I mean, I've fired, in Trigger Maru at least, in the other major mod for this game that I like to play, I've fired off six torpedoes, hit maybe five of them, and all of them have been duds. It's quite common for that to happen in this game. Extremely frustrating, as I'm sure you can imagine. But uh, we're going to be getting a lot of that sort of thing. Still, uh, again, authenticity. We're aiming for aut authenticity in this uh, Let's Play, so I'm quite happy with that result in a strange way. But uh, hopefully we'll have better luck next time.
Okay, we're back on the surface and I've been uh, reloading my torpedoes. I don't know if this is a convoy straggler or possibly a destroyer uh, watching, watching around for us. Maybe they did know we were there after all. Yes, sir. But something is, is out there. So I'm going to yet again cancel this, um, this uh, course I've set for us and uh, go and investigate this. Let's go ahead flank and see what we've got here. All right. Well, I don't know what that is, but it's it's heading uh, it's heading due west and it's moving slow. So it might be a lone merchant. Uh, let's have a look, shall we? Let's slow down because we're making way too much noise and we're producing way too much of a wake. What bearing are we talking here? Where are they? Not sixty-one. Okay. Well, let's have a look. This it should be visible now. Oh my goodness! It's dark out there. It's going to look awful on that video. I can't even tell where the sky begins and the sea. Um, there's the horizon. Okay, thank you. Oh, hello. That's interesting. I have no idea what that is. That looks like a merchant of some form. So let's go back to uh, action stations here. All crew to battle stations. And I'll get ready to go to periscope depth. All right, lads. We might actually get something after all. I knew this would be a good place to come for uh, enemy shipping. So that's good. We're at battle stations. Let's go to periscope depth. And my god, we're pitching and rolling. The weather is god awful. Five, four, three, two, one, click. All right, so we now know how fast this thing's going and where it's going. Um, hmm. Let me do this properly, hang on. We can get an exact speed of smith for this one. Seven and a half knots. Well, we've got time to do it again if we have to. Oh, gee, we're getting close. Slow down, please. Let's see what we're dealing with here. Can anyone tell what that is? It looks big. Looks quite big. I, th I think this is a merchant. Oh, wow, we got Red Cross as well. Hello. I'm lost now. Merchants. Ah, so we're looking for something with a single stack, like that. Now, of course, you're not going to let me look. It looks new. I mean, I, I don't think I recognize this ship. It's, its bow kind of slants up. It could be a modern passenger liner. I'm not too keen about sinking a modern passenger liner. Yes, sir. Slow down. Let them come to us now. I don't know. It, I think it might be a modern passenger liner. But what would it be doing down here? That's the thing. Um, see, could it be that? I don't know. If it's a passenger ship, could be, ah, Hans, that could be it too. Actually, I think that might be it. Hansa Freighter. We won't know for sure until it gets a little bit closer. So we'll uh, just change course a little bit here. Just so I'm not closing in too quickly. Drop the scope and I'll get a little bit closer. Okay, let's have another look at this, shall we? Where are you? Ah, there we go. She's a lot closer now. We're probably going to be firing at minimum range, actually. I'm not too close. I think these torpedoes can fire as close as 400 feet. And we are going to be... Wow, these waves are awful. Okay, what is that? I would say... I really wish we could see that. I think that that's what we're dealing with. It's either that or it's a... Wow. These, these new ships are really throwing me off. It's very difficult to see in this weather as well. It's definitely Japanese. Let's keep on looking. It could be any one of these, to be honest. No, it's not that. It's one of these because of this low deck here at the back. Let's have a look at the rigging. Is it a Hansa freighter? Come on. Damn these seas. No, it's not that. Wrong kind of rigging. Oh, hello. Now we're getting somewhere. 
Could it be? Last Hunter Merchant. I think it might be that. I think it might be that. We're going to enter that. Alright, I'm going to shoot at it for sure. So, let's take a bearing first. Mark. It's getting quite close now. Bearing mark. Let's just enter that for now. So let's drop the scope for a little while. See how we're going for distance. We're getting a little bit too close for comfort, I have to say. We're only 600 feet out. Um, Going to be firing point blank range here. Just raise the scope again. Come on, where are you, damn it? These waves. I really don't like attacking in. Uh, there we go. Yeah, that's definitely what we're dealing with, I think. What's the draft? Doesn't matter, we're going to be using two contacts anyway. So let's close that down. Angle on bow was 60 something. It's going to be 670 now. Let's enter that. Turn on this Jeep. Okay. Let's enter 7.5 knots because that's what we got before. Range. It's definitely Japanese. You can see the flag there. Open tube 1 and tube 2. I'm going to take the angle on bow one more time. Oh, it's, it's 90 degrees ish now. We're just going to enter 90. Almost 90. Take the range one more time. This is again quite sloppy, not my finest hour. Come on, come on, do that. They think seven, which is what we're going to enter, maybe even a little bit more, seven and a bit. Let's check this quickly. Okay, fire one. Helps if you set the damn torpedoes up, contact. <sighs> sloppy, very sloppy. Set them at 10. Open tube. Set this for high. Fire two. I did open that tube earlier. Sloppy, but hey. But, oh, that was premature. Let's open this tube as well. Set it for contact. Uh, damn it, damn it. Set that there. That was very sloppy. Sorry about that, people. We're still going to hit it, but... Fire three. Let's have a look in this. Unless this goes off again, we're going to get a hit. Ooh, beautiful. Torpedo impact. God damn it. Let's just have a look outside. So that did hit. Get rid of that. Let's see if this one strikes as well. Strikes home. I don't think it will. They're looking for us, but we definitely got a hit. So that's that's all that matters. Let's have a look at this. Oh, there we go. That's two two impacts. Very good. Very good. So that was a successful attack. Uh, now we just need to. We can go. Ooh, we're firing at us. Okay, let's lower that scope and dive a little bit. <sighs> all right. Sorry about that, people. That was a little sloppy on my part. I really should. Um, Plan my attacks a little bit better, think things out. But that worked out okay, all things considered. And um, the way I like to do things, it's it's a little bit difficult when when you have heavy seas to, to target. All right, well let's let's shadow this for a while and see um, see if it goes down. Yeah, she's definitely going down. We just got a huge explosion, and there she goes. By the looks of it, she was a warship. Wow. I'd say she was an auxiliary cruiser of some form, but she's gone. That's the end of her. Just to dive straight to the bottom. Car bloody boom. That's the end of her. 
Well, as you can see, that was a uh, excellent result. It was, in fact, an auxiliary cruiser of the Toro class. I've never seen one of these before. It must uh, be a, one of the new ships with this, uh, this mod I'm running. Um, 11,000 tons, which is a fantastic result. Big ship. Um, I'm surprised she went down so quickly, actually. We fired three torpedoes at her. Um, two were impacts and one was a premature detonation, which is pretty damn good considering I didn't even set up the torpedoes properly uh, for that attack. It was rather clumsy on my part, so really blind luck more than anything, I think. But uh, as you've probably worked out by now, I'm not a huge fan of attacking in rough seas. I'm quite visual with my targeting. Uh, I like to be able to see my target to get a solution, so it makes it difficult for me. Hopefully we'll be less, um, well, clumsy about it next time. But we got the ship and that's what matters. As you can see, we've also, have a look here, we've also completed our objectives. Um, so engage enemy shipping in the area, completed. Also attack Japanese task force. Looks like we completed that as well. I'm thinking that maybe that means the cruiser, we just the auxiliary cruiser we just got was in fact a um, part of that task force and it was perhaps, uh, I don't know, maybe she was looking for us, maybe she was uh, straggling the convoy, I don't know, but either way we've now got um, both of these objectives completed and we are ready to continue our patrol. I think I might head south next. Uh, we've been in this area a little bit too long, I think. Um, the Japanese might be sending destroyers after us at this point, who knows. Time to relocate, I think, but I'll do that next episode because um, this has been going on a little too long now and I am getting very tired. So thank you all for viewing. I hope this was exciting for you. This has been Kairos. I will see you all in the next episode.